Lads, before we get into this video, we are less than 3,250 subs away from 100,000 subscribers. I am genuinely so grateful for the epic support we've had recently. I'm so excited to hit 100k. It's been my goal since literally starting YouTube to get 100k. So if you guys could help me towards that, I would be very grateful um, and I, I would really appreciate it. So make sure you subscribe if you guys are new around here and uh, thank you all for the epic support. Let's get into the video. The other day on Twitter and on my community tab on YouTube, I tweeted out asking to see your guys' FIFA 20 starter squads. Now the full database has been released on Footwiz. Uh, Footwiz actually have uh, have got the squad building tool where if you load up Footwiz, you can actually build your own custom squad using FIFA 20 players and they have all the right ratings. For example, if we want Lukaku up top, we've got 85 Lukaku. If we want Ronaldo up top, we've got 93 rated Ronaldo there or, or obviously the prime R9 and stuff like that, but we've got Cristiano Ronaldo there and they get an orange link again. I don't remember last time we got an orange link, so I don't know why I said again, but they get an orange link. Regardless, that doesn't matter. Anyway, I asked you guys on Twitter and on my YouTube community page, actually, if we quickly grab that into the frame. I asked you guys over here, too, uh, and we got a bunch of comments. I don't know why it's showing 10. For some reason, it was like it hid a lot of comments. I just had to go through and apply a bunch of you guys' comments there uh, because it was super weird. But we've got a bunch of comments. I'm going to go through a lot of your guys' uh, FIFA 20 starter squads. Now, we are how long away from the early access? We are just over a week. So if you guys want to do this again, you want to be featured in next week's episode, uh, on Sunday, I'll bring you guys another one of these. I rate your team's FIFA 20 edition. Um, then go on to Footwiz. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can build your start squad. Uh, this here. Uh, what you have to do is you have to build your squad. So, for example, I could put uh, Dabala at Cam. Um, and if I just wanted to leave it like that, maybe. Uh, you want to name your team. Name it like it's Haber uh, Squad. And click on Save over here. And once you've saved it, it's really, really simple. Uh, all you have to do is click on Save. At the top, you actually have a link for your squad. So you have a link that you'll be able to follow for your squad. So for example, boom, we follow the link uh, that I've just put into Google and it'll bring up my squad right here uh, called It's Haber Squad Made by Anonymous. Um, tweet me using hashtag It's Haber and then link your squad here. Uh, you'll have to do this on phone or on PC. I do apologize if you guys are going to struggle with this. But, uh, but tweet me using hashtag It's Haber and I'll go through your starter squads and have a look at a bunch of them in Sunday's episode. So make sure you do that. Anyway, without further ado, let's jump into some uh, starter squads from Footwiz. We'll start off with Felix slash Ray's team. Uh, let's have a look at Felix's team here. Uh, what kind of team have you got for us today? Oh, we've got a Premier League team. All right. I didn't realize that Saar was actually in the Premier League. I, I, that one completely passed me. And elmeron has got a nice card as well. That's actually a pretty solid team. Uh, Price-wise, that shouldn't be too expensive. Angelino might be a little bit expensive, given that, obviously, um, he's new to the Premier League. Uh, he's got a decent card um, and whatnot. Like, a lot of people might want to pick this one up. And G Gabamin? Gabamin? I don't know how to say that guy's name. He also might be a little bit expensive, given that he's got really nice looking stats. However, I think this won't be that expensive. It's a nice starter squad. Um, he got some nice plays in there. I do like it a lot. I think that I like the Man United right side, although wan is definitely going to be very inflated at the start of the game. Uh, Madison looks all right on the, on the game at the minute. Um, Ake looks solid. He always looks solid, though, Ake. Um, this is a nice squad. I don't think I would change. Maybe I'd change Dubravka because I don't think Dubravka will be a really good goalkeeper. Uh, but aside from that, I don't think I'd change really anything else there. If you could afford this on day one, then I think you'll be you'll be right for, you know, div rivals and squad battles and stuff like that. You know, get some rewards down you. Um, I think you'll be doing well, to be honest. And uh, uh, This SAR card could be a really solid card. By the way, these are all confirmed stats and ratings. Everything here is 100% confirmed. Um, these are all like the official ratings. Yeah, you've dropped the full database now. So uh, everything you see is 100% legit and real. All right, next Next squad we have got now. Um, let's go with Jacobs. Jacobs tweeted me too. He said first day is going to be this squad. And then he's showed me one for a week to two weeks time. So he's got a nice Premier League slash Aston Villa mainly squad. Which I rate because I feel like Aston Villa players might be quite cheap. Even though like they've just been promoted to the Premier League. So they're going to have a, a few nice players. You know, Nakamba, McGinn, Trezeguet, Wesley, uh, Gilbert are all going to be nice to use. But he's gone with like a Premier League feel to it. Cabasele. Unfortunately, it just gets worse every year, doesn't he? It's, it's card just gets worse every year. But uh, it used to be really, really OP. Now, I think it'd just be quite average. Rojo looks okay, quite average. Um, it's a decent first day. It, it'll be great to, to use, you know, just as a starter squad to get started, I guess. And then a week slash two weeks time, you've got this squad. Let's see what you're rocking with this then. 
Okay, yeah, it's a bit more like, you know, you got Arsenal Pepe over there. You've got Wan Basaki, you got Rudiger, you got Sanchez, Angelino, Kepa, and Didi. Yeah, I, li I like this a little bit more. Um, although you still got Wesley up top. Interesting. I don't think that we've actually got in game stats for these cards yet. Uh, if, have we got in game stats for Wesley yet? No, we have not. I would love to see his physical stats. 88 physical. That's going to be really interesting. Um, let's move on to another squad now. We're going to go with Sam Green squad over here. I uh, really hope you guys have sent me the right links as well. Because some of them might just send me squad builders. Okay, no, got the right one. Ooh, okay. This is actually really interesting. So you've gone with a nice hybrid. A very nice hybrid. You've gone with Ruben Vin Vinegra at left back. Ruben Neves' card looks solid at left center mid. And Diego Diogo Jota at left wing. Nice. I like that. You go with Arnautovic, Hulk, and Oscar. I like that. Arnautovic's card looks really good at the start of the game. Hulk's, not so much, but maybe it's just because his pace is bad that I'm saying that, actually. Uh, you got Munia Kera, Diallo. Nice. Idris Agana over there as well. And Rulli. I like that. And you got a couple of players on the bench as well. Weyer is a nice super sub. Uh, Draxler is quite nice as well. I like that. I actually really like that a lot. It's a, it's a nice hybrid. I think that this is going to be pretty cool. And I don't think we'll see that many people using the CSL this year because it's not as new as it was last year. So I think that the hype might have died down a little bit. You know, people like Hulk being in the game might have died down a little bit. We'll see. We will see. Uh, let's have a look at the next one now. Um, a lot of people send me pictures. I do ask for links because I, then I can click on plays and explore it a little bit better. Uh, he said, I've made two. Not sure which is better. So this is from Alex Lee. He said, hoping that I decide in the video. Let's decide for him. Okay, so the first one's a Bundesliga slash Premier League side with actually a, a, league, a La Liga defense. Nice. Okay, nice little hybrid. Second one is La Liga, Liga, and Serie A. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. Um, that's interesting then. Which one do I prefer? I like the five-star skillers over here. Have we got five-star skillers in this one? No, we've not. Chuck Lozano, though. I like what you've done here. I think Suzuko is going to be really, really good. I think Longley is going to be really, really good. Konate looks solid. Neto should be really decent. I think Rusion looks incredible. Uh, Vitzel looks really, really good. Werner looks incredible. Uh, however, Jao Felix, five-star skiller. I like what you've done there. And Naki Williams should look decent. But Naki on, on, on weak chem. I'm going to have to go with this one. I think you should use this squad, bro. Uh, I think Inaki on, on weak chem is what does it for me. I think you definitely should go with this. Uh, everyone gets full chemistry, and it's a nice squad. It looks really solid. I think you're going to really enjoy using it, and I think you'll definitely prefer using that one to the other one. Um, and then, obviously, you can just incorporate more players as well. Like, you can get more five-star skillers in there. You maybe get Komen in there eventually and, and things like that and branch out into different players. So, I like this squad, though. I like what you've done over here. Um, I think that's a really, really nice way to incorporate St. Maximin in, in Suzuko as well. So it's a really, really nice squad. Uh, moving on now. Again, I, I would look at photos, but the quality of these photos are going to be absolutely terrible. Um, so I do apologize for the people that, that you know, sent me photos. All right, we're going to move on to YouTube now. Um, so Rick Schoberg. I'm aiming for this team. Uh, I'm going to have to copy the link, unfortunately, which is really, really annoying. Uh, I'm aiming for this team. Let me actually re re what he said. Don't know which icon I'll get, but it's going to be a striker icon at least. Bale and the icon goes top. Perisic behind them in a 4 1 2 1 2. Okay. So you're going big. If you, you're you going to be spending a lot of beef points at the start, then, if you want to afford this, because this is going to be really expensive. Bale alone should be 250 to 350k at least, because he always is. Van Dyke, I think, is going to be 500k plus, because it's 90 Van Dyke. Alexander Arnold should be like 25 to 50k. Modric should be 50 to 100k. Varane should be 50 to 100k. Marcelo should be 50 to 100k. Perisic, I can imagine, is going to be like 35 to 50k. Goretzka should be about 50k. Crespo should be about 800, 700k. So this squad will probably cost you a good, a lot of coins. Wait, what's this do? Oh, that's pretty cool. Night mode. That's actually really cool. Uh, this squad will cost you a lot of coins, but it's a nice squad nonetheless. Um, I don't know if you'd be better off getting a cheaper squad and, and investing your coins elsewhere, but it, I mean, it, this this would be really, really good regardless. It'd be really, really good, so fair enough. In terms of your icon, Crespo's really good at the start of the game. However, I feel like this year, I don't think that taller, more physical players are that prevalent, or at least it, it didn't feel like that when I played like the beta, for example. Um, so I feel like maybe getting someone like I don't know, maybe maybe an Inzaghi would, would maybe be better for you. Someone that's got a little bit better at passing. Um, maybe like a... Who's a good example? 
maybe a Rui Costa, someone like that, and you can play them in behind and then play Bale and Perisic up top. It's up to you, though, totally. Uh, but nice squad, regardless. I, I do like that. Uh, moving on now, we've got Macaulino, who said nothing about his squad, but just linked me it. Uh, it's fine by me. I'll check it out, bro. Uh, I appreciate everyone that's linked me their squad. This is more of a starter squad. He's got Origi. Origi's got a solid upgrade, actually, in terms of like his stats. They look really decent. Origi and Wesley up top. Pulisic, who's a left mid. I find that interesting. Didn't realize he'd be a left mid card. Uh, Sizoko and Decore. Decore looks decent. Saar, nice. Uh, Diego, Diogo Dallo actually looks pretty decent, to be fair. Um, Ake and Cabasele. Tierney looks really nice. Farman looks solid as well. I like that. It's a, it's a good squad. I think that you've, you've got a solid squad going here. Um... And I hope the people at home, th this is mainly like to look at those people's squads to get inspiration for starter squads as well. So I hope you guys are looking at these squads thinking, wow, look at these players. Like I can use this one, this one, this one. Uh, take inspiration from these squads. So we've got Michael's squad here. Uh, let me quickly open up Michael's squad. He says, uh, and this is a team I would work towards for the first weekend league. This is, of course, may change once I find out more on in-game stats and prices. Some of the cards I picked up might be insanely expensive. So I included more affordable options on the bench and reserves. Okay. All right, I like I like the start of it. This is probably going to be like a, a mid-range sort of starter team in terms of price. Uh, I can see this team probably being like 250 to 300k, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. Who knows? Uh, William, who although has had a downgrade, still looks like a really good card. Martial looks incredible. Lingard looks all right. Uh, Lucas Moura looks fantastic. Hallow could be decent. Indeed, he's always looking nice. Uh, Digne. I think you can go with Angelino up here, to be honest. I said Digne. Uh, Rudiger and Lindelof, nice. Ricardo Pereira, nice as well. Schmeichel in net, of course. Uh, then the, here's some cheaper options. So, um, Jordan Shakiri, if he's got five star skills, might even be better than Willian, to be honest. Uh, Terreira could also be better than Indeedy, in my opinion. Then about Mendy. Uh, Wambasaka, I think with the physical, I think Wambasaka will have better like, strength than Ricardo Pereira, but Ricardo Pereira might have better like jumping and, and uh, stamina. Uh, I think that aside from that, I mean, Oxide Chamberlain would be a pretty good cam as well. Eric Bailly looks like he'd be pretty solid as well. Um, aside from that, though, I like it. Maybe, maybe Wilson instead of Haller as well. But no, it's a nice, it's a nice team to work towards. I think it's definitely going to be a solid team, uh, without a shadow of a doubt. Moving on now, let's go with uh, a Cash's squad here. Um, let's have a look. He says it should be about 100k. Uh, should be about 100k in the beginning of FIFA. Some players can be replaced, like Fidel, Canate, Furpo, and other potential cheaper options. All right, so let's have a look. So I can already tell you right now. I think this squad might be a bit more than 100k. I will say that right now. I think it'll be a bit more than 100k. I think Jao Felix alone will be, because of the hype that he's had, I think it'll be about 25 to 35k at bare minimum. Five star skills, high upgrade than what he had before. Um, I think that Alwa with the hype that he had last year could be like in the 20k. I think Vidal could be at least 25k. I think Eder Militao will be 50k plus. And the reason I think that at the start of the game, although he's not amazingly high rated, doesn't have amazingly insane stats, he has got 79 pace. And people are going to see that and think, wow, he was incredible last year. Straight away try and buy him, especially with ones to watch coming up as well. Uh, people will be buying players like uh, Eder Militao and Jao Felix, knowing that they're going to probably get into the ones to watch um so i can see this probably being about 150k maybe aside from that though it is a nice squad i do like it i like what you've done here with Thiago mendes as well like that, that is a really nice like little link off there as well um as well as the the portuguese link there that's pretty solid um aside from that though maybe maybe i'm wrong maybe it will be cheaper than i think but regardless i think this will be a really op starter squad i think that'd be really op uh, and vidal as well vidal's had a big pace upgrade right surely I think he had like 50 pace last year. So he actually looks really usable again. I'm actually looking forward to using Vidal again. I think he'd be really usable again. That is amazing. I, I actually really like Vidal. So that's pretty cool. All right. I'm going to be trying to be fair and scroll down a little bit. Um, let's have a look. So uh, 200k max budget maybe. All right. Let's have a look at this JJC plays. Hey, JJC is always in my streams. What a legend. What an absolute legend, JJC. Um, what do you say? 200,000 coins max budget maybe. Um... I think this is probably just about affordable for 200k. Martial will, will he's always expensive at the start of the game. He'll probably be like 40, 50k. Vardy would be like 10k, I think. Uh, Oxford Chamberlain would probably be like less than 10. Same with White. I mean, Wijnaldum might be a little bit more. Lozano, given that he's now in the, in the Serie A, he'll probably be inflated, maybe like 15k, just because Castro, basically. Um, again, Ed Emily Tower will be expensive. I think you'll probably be able to do this for 200k, though. I think you will be able to. You might even be able to make upgrades here and there. It depends, though. Um, but it's a nice squad. 
I think the 4 3 3 4 will be a solid formation at the start of the game as well. Uh, I, I definitely think it'll be a great formation for the start of the year. Um, always is, in my opinion. Great going forward. But no, it's a nice team, JJC. I like it, bro. I like it a lot. Let's have a look now. Um, I have two in mind, but this is the one I hope I can get the most. All right, let's have a look. Let's have a look, lads. And now, also, let me know in the comments down below how many FIFA points you guys are spending. I'd love to hear it. Um, let's have a look. Oh, okay. It's a nice squad. Hector Herrera is going to be really used, in my opinion, this year. Uh, him and Partey have a really nice link together. Uh, Zielinski looks really solid. Again, Lozano. Mariana looks pretty good this year as well. Uh, Vinicius. High Sag. Uh, you could probably go with Malkut here. Or Malkuit. I don't know how to say that guy's name. Uh, Nacho and Edem and Atau. Solid. Mendy looks really, really good this year as well. Ariola looks like a solid goalkeeper as well. Like a nice, cheap goalkeeper in the La Liga. That is a nice team. I, I, that is a really nice team. I wouldn't change anything in that. Uh, what else we got now? Bundesliga, Serie A, Ligue and Hybrid. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Loving the hybrid. All right, let's have a look. Let's have a look. So we've got Lasagna up top. Nice. I love a bit of Lasagna. Love a bit of Spag Bowl as well. Uh, Verdi, uh, Lozano. Oh, Verdi's on the left now. It's okay. Allen looks really, really good. Allen looks incredible. Awa. Lala looks pretty bad considering the year he had. You know, that is actually, that is, that is ridiculous. Considering the year Lala had, he has got a terrible card. Really? Lala was in team of the week like every third week. And he had a really, really nice team in the season card as well. That's interesting. All right. Um, I'm liking this Dortmund link on the left here, though. That is really nice. This team is actually really well built. I think this is a really well built team. Uh, I like it a lot. So GG's on that. Again, wouldn't change anything. I love the build of this team. It's really, really nice. Um, all right, let's do a couple more now. Um, I'm going to see what we got. So we'll go up to... We'll go with uh, we'll go with Joe. Joe the man. Because Joe is the man. Let's go, Joe. Let's go, Joe. Let's look at Joe's team. Let's have a look at Joe's team. All right, we've got Joel Linton up top who... Pretty interesting card. Uh, not as good as I was hoping for, but it's all right. Um, Vardy, uh, Lingard, Fraser, who looks pretty solid. Uh, so Maximin, Decore. Again, Dubravka in goal, though. That's pretty interesting. I don't think Dubravka could be that good. In my opinion, I don't think Dubravka would be that solid. I think you're better off getting Farman in net, to be honest. But apart from that, I wouldn't change anything about this team. It's actually a really solid team. Um, I think Sanchez will be quite expensive at the start of the year, as he always is. Same with Wan-Bissaka. But... And same with the same maximum. But aside from that, I can't see anyone else being ridiculously expensive. Maybe Rudiger's like 15k. But apart from that, I can't see anyone else being like really expensive in this team. So I think it'd be good with this team. It's a nice team. Um, Vardy, probably about 10k to be fair. Um, but that's a nice team. All right, let's go with Alex Watson's team now. Uh, let's see what Alex Watson's rocking. Um, let's have a look. So, uh, French, Italy, China. Who is this? Luke, I, why do I recognize this name? Why do I recognize Lucas Paqueta? I mean, it's not showing his picture. Lucas, I don't know why I recognize that name. I mean, it's an interesting name. Uh, it's an interesting photo, I guess. Um, no, this is quite a nice team, though. I, I do like what you've done here. I like the link up top. Adair and Alex Teixeira will be very good. Uh, Bonaventura looks solid. Kessie looks solid. Rabio looks incredible this year as well. Um, you got that Mukiel and Canate perfect link. I love that. Lecompte in net. This is a nice team. Hernandez looks great as well. I think that's Theo Hernandez, right? He looks really, really good. No, is it Lucas or Theo? I can't remember. One of the two. Looks really good, though. Um, that team looks really solid, actually. And it'll be really cool, actually, later on in the year if you replace, like, Paqueta with, like, Kaka or something like that. You know, obviously, like, like Brazilian from AC Milan, like, he they replace him. Obviously, Kessie will be off Ken, but you probably have someone better like that after. But that'd be pretty cool, though. It's a nice team. I like that. All right, we're going to go with... Uh, gonna go with one more team now we're gonna go with uh sully gerber's team now i apologize if you guys didn't get featured remember to submit your teams with the hashtag at saber um and i'll make sure to check your teams out oh i like this team a lot trossard looks really really good king looks solid as he always does so maximum looks really good uh los celso looks good as well i like this team gomez looks incredible this card looks phenomenal this card looks absolutely phenomenal medium high work rates as well it looks absolutely incredible Jesus, that is a really, really nice, uh, really nice card. This team looks really good. I would swap Ake and, and Gomez. Ake is left-footed, so I feel like he'd be better suited on the left. Aside from that, nice. I like this team a lot. I think it's going to be really, really good in game. So that is it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, smash a like down below. Let me know down below if you uh, if your team got featured, and if you didn't, uh, I do apologize. And also, let me know down below how many thief points you guys are spending. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. As I said earlier, we are really close to 100k, so I'd really appreciate your support. Thank you all for your epic support as well. Um, and uh, make sure you tune in on Sunday for another irate your team. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.